Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at 10 amazing apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device. Of course, nowadays we do everything with apps on our devices and the types of apps and the number of apps that you have on your device of course determines how much you can do with your iPhone. So here are 10 apps that I believe will add some very useful features to your iPhone and will make your iPhone more worth its money. And we're starting things off with Remote Pro. Now this is a paid app, but currently is free. So go ahead and grab it while it's free. It is an amazing app. It allows you to control your other devices, whether it's the keyboard or the mouse via your iPhone. So here I have it connected to my MacBook right there in the background and I can control here the mouse. I have of course the clicks here and I will have of course the keyboard as well. So anytime I need to type something, I will have the keyboard here, all the shortcuts that I need right there. I can hide the keyboard. I can scroll here as easy as that. This is an amazing, amazing app to have. And as I said, it is paid, but currently you can get it for free. So make sure you go ahead and get it right now. Now, if you go here, you can also go ahead and launch the apps that you have on your Mac. In this case, if I just want to launch mail, I can just tap right there, tap on launch, and it will launch the mail as you can see right there in the background of my Mac. So let's just close that. So just like that, you can use this to open your apps, you can favorite your apps, and you will see all of your devices right here. You can connect to any of your devices where of course you have the client of this app installed. Now, once you install the app on your device, it will give you a link from where you can download the client on your other device so that you can control your devices using your iPhone. The next app for the video, it's actually a Safari extension. It is called Single File for Safari, and it allows you to download a complete website so that you can view it even though you might be offline. It works pretty simple, of course. All you have to do is install the app, then from Safari, tap the AA button and go to your extensions right here. Make sure you have it enabled. There we have single file. And once you're on a website that you want to download, you tap again the AA button right there, tap on single file, and just like that, you can go ahead and download this website to your device. So you will have it there, even though you're offline, you can view the website. So it will take a few seconds right here to actually download the website, and there we have it. Now it's done, it has been downloaded locally into the files app. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So there we have the file we just downloaded actually with the website and we can go ahead and open it and of course view the website from the files app even though our device might be offline. Web Image Browser is the next app for the video. Now this app allows us to browse websites and also extract all the images from that website. So if you're interested on some images on a website, don't have to browse around. All you have to do is just open the website on this app. It will show you right here that number, how many images are on that website. In this case, I'm on my channel here. I can tap the 11 button. It will show me all the images on my website right there. You can see all the different thumbnails. And what I can do, of course, here, tap to open any of them or of course choose to save any of them to my photos. So anytime you wanna see only the images on a website, you can actually do that with this app. Magic Picture in Picture is the next app for the video. Now this is a very useful app and I suggest every iPhone user to have this app on their device as of course it is free as well. Now we have the picture in picture mode on iOS, but it's actually very, very limited. But with this app, you can have pretty much everything being played on the picture in picture mode. From PDF files, text files, maybe your images or videos that you have on your camera roll, your clipboard, maybe a web page, clock, stopwatch, or a timer. And this is very easy to use. I wanna set a timer on the picture in picture mode. I can set a timer for any amount of minutes I want. Tap the play button right there, show picture in picture, and there I have it. I have a timer on the picture in picture mode right on the home screen of my device. How easy is that? And as I said, you can have pretty much every file you can think of on the picture in picture mode. The next app for the video is called Superimpose. Now this is a video editor that you can get for free and it's actually amazing. It has a ton of different like features that you can use to edit your videos just like a video editor would have that you might have on your pc or on your mac it's actually amazing how many nice features it has so right here we have loaded a video of course we will have a timeline right here we can tap on the video tap the plus button right there to add another clip 
or we can use one of the tools here of course we can split the clip right here so just split it in half just like that we can choose colors here for the background we can choose the format or again if you tap on one of the clips you can go ahead and transform it change the audio maybe mute the audio make the audio louder or something like that and of course we can add other stuff like we can add things like maybe music in the background or anything like that tap the plus button right there and you can see you can have another layer we can add text shapes we can add audio from the device we can have basically voice over anything you want you can add right here it's really really great it works really nice and again the features that it offers like the speed change here you can see the freeze the rotation everything you can think of that you might have on a video editor on a pc or mac you can have it on this app as well so it's really really great by far one of my favorite video editors when it comes to mobile devices Next up is Get Sauce. Now this one is very useful. It allows you to search for images. Reverse search images, any image that you have on your camera roll that you might not remember where you got it from, maybe a wallpaper, something like that. You can just search it with this app and it has a ton of options. So let's just choose a picture here from the photo library. So once you have selected the image you want to search for, it will show you a few options here, a few different search engines where you can search for that image. Now, in my experience, when it comes to reverse searching images, Bing has been the best, even better than Google. So let's just go with Bing here and let's see what it finds. So it will load the images in a couple of seconds here. Here's the image we're looking for. And then, of course, you can see right here what it looks like. It shows you basically what that thing on the image is. And then we have the related images. You can see the images that, of course, almost identical to the one we have been searching for. This is a great, great app anytime you need to reverse search an image. Next up is Fire Links. Now, how many times you want to share a link, maybe on your social media, or you need to send a link on an email, but the link will be just way, way too long and will take a lot of space. Maybe on your email, you're trying to do something professional, but that long email will just look ugly right there. This is, a, this is an extension for Safari that you can download and install for free once you have done that. All you have to do is just go to the website, which, which link you want to shorten, tap the AA button, and all you have to do is tap on Fire Links right there, and it will do the work for you. Shorten the link. You can see right there we have the shortened link. Just tap right there, copy it, and you're good to go. Do Play is the next app for the video. Now, this app will allow you to play things that are on your files app like maybe audio voice messages whatever you have saved on your files app you can actually play with this app and the thing is that it also works in the background so you don't have to actually stay on the app to play something so if i have something right here downloaded into my files app i can start playing it of course with this app you can see the browser is the same as the files app browser and it's right now it's playing so i can get out of here and of course still play that in the background as you can see it's actually playing right there it's really really great it works really well and it allows it again to play any file that you have even in the background Next up is the Apple Support app. I did a video on this before and it's actually amazing. It is an app that I suggest every iPhone user to download on their device because it will help you a lot. Everything that you wanna know about one of your devices, you can actually do that from here. So we'll have your devices right there. You can go to the iPhone, the watch, whatever you have there, and you can basically find solution for a lot of things. Like if I wanted to go to power and battery here, it will show me details regarding the battery of my devices. And of course I can find even solutions for different problems that I might have. Like right here, if I go to iPhone, any problem that I have, let's say I have a problem with the Bluetooth, I can go here and it will find me the best options to fix those problems. Really, really great, of course, very, very useful. It will show you a lot of things that you need to know regarding your iPhone. And last but not least is Sleep Sounds. This is a new app that will help you sleep better. Anyone that likes to have a sound in the background while sleeping, now your iPhone can help you do that with this app. So you will have a bunch of different sounds right here that you can play. Tap on it, it starts playing. You will have this knob right here to turn up or down the volume of that sound. You can even combine those. So we have here Fire and Rain Outside. We can play both of them at the same time. We can even set a timer for those, so just tap right there. 
let's choose maybe 20 minutes tap on start and after 20 minutes they will be of course paused and we won't have a sound but just like that you can set any sound you want of course choose the volume for each of the sounds individually and hopefully help you sleep better so that is it for this video guys these are 10 apps that i believe every iphone user must have on their device if you're interested on downloading one of these apps make sure you check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more leave a like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one